Hi, I'm Elle. I got a spinal CSF leak from a cortisone shot 10 years ago now. And although I was fixed after four months, I went in for a condition called rebound intracranial hypertension. And afterwards, I've had so many problems. I've actually ended up with 15 brain shunts in six years. It's so disabling. However, I am thankful that I'm fixed for my leak. Hi, my name is Tasha and I'm an ER physician. I've been living with a spinal CSF leak for just over two years. The cause of my leak was a surgery that was done to remove a benign spinal tumor. Hi, I'm Jess. I had a CSF leak from 2014. I had a bleb from an intrathecal catheter, but I had surgery in October of 2021 and now I'm finally sealed. Hi, I'm Carolina and I suffer from a spinal CSF leak due to a labor epidural. I had a blip which was uh, successfully repaired in a spinal surgery uh, over a year ago and I am finally living an upright life. Hi, my name is Sam and I suffered a spinal CSF leak due to spinal anesthesia that I had during my daughter's C-section. I underwent a total of five epidural blood patches, the last one being done by experts that sealed my leak. Suffering a CSF leak was by far the hardest thing I've ever been through. My name is Marta and I have a spinal CSF leak that was caused by a lumbar puncture four years ago. And despite having had several blood patches, tried different medication and consulted with different doctors, sadly I'm still leaking and dealing with daily debilitating symptoms that were not there before my lumbar puncture.